Brent crude prices reached $90 on Wednesday, but those high prices could soon be seeing some relief as additional oil barrels are set to hit the market within the next month. The only question that remains is, will those additional barrels arrive before oil hits $100? ExxonMobil announced this week that it will begin producing oil from its second oil platform in the world's latest oil hotspot, Guyana. The second production facility would increase Guyana's crude oil production from roughly 110,000 barrels per day to 340,000 barrels per day. Meanwhile, the United States has approved the release of 13.4 million barrels of crude from the Strategic Petroleum Reserves. The move comes as part of the Biden administration's solution to rising gasoline prices by selling 50 million barrels to the commercial market. Gasoline prices, however, failed to dip to any significant degree. Seven companies will be taking the 13.4 million barrels in what will be the second largest SPR release ever. OPEC Plus is also set to continue on with its oil production increases, theoretically adding barrels to the global market. While this calls for OPEC Plus to increase production by 400,000 barrels per day in February with, in all likelihood, another 400,000 barrels per day in March, these figures are only targeted increases. And so far, OPEC Plus has been unable to meet its production targets. For December, OPEC Plus managed to increase production by only 250,000 barrels per day of the 400,000 barrels per day, and they were starting December from behind. As such, overall, OPEC Plus production was down 790,000 barrels per day from its targets. If OPEC fails to hit its targets again, and it most certainly will, some analysts have suggested that Brent could reach $100 per barrel.